Ecuador um, is, is a phenomenal setting, geologic setting for copper, for, for large, uh, high quality copper deposits, porphyry copper deposits is, is really what you want to find. Ecuador can be the lead in the, in the green revolution because copper is key and copper is being depleted and more copper, the copper demand is going to go up as we get closer and closer to zero carbon footprint and uh, Ecuador could be the leading, the leading edge on that, could lead the world uh, into the green, the green new world and uh, you need copper and uh, Ecuador can provide that. opportunities uh, at Cascabel at present is, is, you know, I touched on the deposit, but with a, a, a deposit such as the quality of Apollo, um, it offers you lots of flexibility in development scenarios uh, and obviously the economic returns. Challenges, well, it's, it's get the financing and build, and build the mine, uh, continue with our great uh, ESG efforts here in, in the local communities. Um, so there's plenty of challenges, but huge opportunities associated with Cascabel. The Cascabel Tenement is located in northern Ecuador, in the Imbabura province, in Lita and La Carolina parishes. In Cascabel, Alpala is a tier one because it presents a high degree of geological confidence and great continuity, alone and across the deposit. The drill hole spacing within the deposit ranges from less than 60 meters in the central core to 160 meters at the margins, allowing to obtain a robust measure and indicated mineral resource estimation. Sure, well, Apollo deposit is what the Cascabel project's based on right now, and it's from where we're sitting, it's about five kilometers uh, to the west. And um, so, but Apollo, what's so good about it is one, it's, it's very good grade, and uh, so that makes it very profitable, very consistent, you know, just a high quality deposit, great metallurgy, it's a porphyry, which equates to very consistent. So it makes it easier to mine and process. It's the foundation. In other words, if you do not have, it's like building a house. If you don't have a strong foundation, you're not going to have a house. And so the ESG efforts, the social efforts, the community relation efforts, and the programs that Lily and her team has developed from education to the coffee plantation, etc., it's key. Um, you have to have that foundation before you can explore, before certainly before you can build a mine, any of the activities we want to do. And so it, it's, it's the foundation for a successful development of Cascadell. Nuestro plan de relaciones comunitarias cuenta con cinco programas. Son los de comunicación e información, educación, salud, desarrollo productivo y fomento de actividades sociales, culturales y deportivas. Los proyectos que nosotros implementamos deben contener tres características. Ser socialmente viables. Esto quiere decir que deben venir de una necesidad propia de la población una necesidad sentida de ellos, debe ser económicamente viable y también debe ser ambientalmente viable. Es importante invertir en el sistema de gestión ambiental de todas las empresas porque esto nos permite a nosotros eh, identificar correctamente dentro de los componentes ambientales, físicos, bióticos y socioeconómicos para poder nosotros mitigar cualquier tipo de impactos que puedan generarse en el futuro. Como dato estadístico, nosotros dentro de nuestra inversión ambiental, porque es una inversión ambiental lo que nosotros realizamos, invertimos 1.500.000 dólares en lo que es en nuestro sistema de gestión ambiental, abarcando los cuatro componentes que habíamos mencionado, que es el manejo adecuado de las aguas, manejo de desechos, rehabilitación de áreas intervenidas, monitoreo ambiental y nuestro programa cumbre que es el proyecto 1M. My experience so far in Ecuador is uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, very, very well-educated, intelligent people here, and, uh, and I'm not so sure that technology transfers, uh, maybe it's going to go the other way. Ecuador can be the lead in the, in the green revolution because copper is key, and copper is being depleted, and more copper, the copper demand is going to go up uh, as we get closer and closer to zero carbon footprint, and uh, Ecuador can provide that.